We were not students at UMass Boston's campus. We were students in downtown Boston on Huntington Avenue at Longwood. We had three buildings and a little extra one around a courtyard. So we spent a lot of time in a place called North Hall, which if you walked in, you had to cut the smoke with a knife because in those days people smoked. My favorite thing about study at Boston State was the group I was put with. We were in sections and I think our section was F8 and we stayed together the, the entire time. We, we studied together and we played together. I was a cheerleader and I had a great time and the guys were so funny because they'd sing, the lion sleeps tonight. I don't know what it meant, but they would roar and the lion sleeps tonight. And I don't know if that was because they won. I don't know what was going on. But we had so much fun on the bus. We'd just laugh about everything. Some of us went from bookstore to bookstore to read chapters in books because we couldn't afford to buy them. The fact that we got each other through became a very significant part of the academic challenges we faced. And those continue today with the life challenges we face. Boston State serviced a wonderful niche of society. They were diverse, but not in the same way that the students at UMass Boston are diverse. Everybody worked very hard after school, may I say, to afford the $200 a year tuition. UMass. Boston is really servicing the same niche of society. It's just a reflection of how that's changed in 50 years. In the past, I've looked at people in the next classroom to us. There were people from Harvard and Cornell or whatever in the next rooms uh, doing the same things, uh, getting the same pay and so forth. So there, it was quite a, a good direction. It was a wonderful experience, and I'd do it all over again.